welcome to a special edition of Agenda where we're talking about former External Affairs Minister Natwar Singh's book and its revelations about the Congress Party, Congress President Sonia Gandhi. It's upset people so much. She's come out and said, I'm going to write my own version of the book. Look at what other politicians are saying about revelations that one, he's said that she is Machiavellian and other revelations about her and Rahul Gandhi about how it wasn't really her inner self that made her stop from being a Prime Minister in 2004. Take a look at the political turmoil that it's caused. There are some things that have been done in which the book of the book has been done in which 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 the book has been done in
is this not then a revenge ploy okay and revenge after 8 or 9 years when yeah. he knows that he it, it he wants to hurt okay so it's not really about uh, public interest or uh, anything he wants to take revenge on a party which deprived him of a power and authority and a glory at a particular time okay actually the the point that you brought out uh, kts tulsi it brings us to one of our other talking points about motive and timing yes. i want to ask is it fair to bring up the question when you're looking at a piece of literature or any book is it fair to bring up motive and timing or should you also accept thing for what it is a book and how interesting it is I kind of want to argue that it is the case that you can't look at a book simply as a book of the moment a book has to last a course and what I want to say about the biography in general putting aside natwarsi sure, for the sure, moment yeah. is that it's a very important form mm -hmm. because it bridges the gap between the public and the private there are all these people who are there on the screens all the time sonia gandhi yes. you know rahul gandhi and narendra modi and so on and they have inner lives That's they have right. psychologies they have minds yes. and everybody knows that everyone is interested exactly. in the inner lives of these people so i think we should while we may question the motive and so on of these exactly. people we also need to look at the form of the biography but i want to say something i think this form is so exciting yes. because we are in uh, in the age of the wikipedia and the uh, social google, media yeah. google twitter yeah. etc yes. so in some ways this form is poised for a rebirth uh, looking uh, and has to go beyond what the news reports give us what the wikipedia gives us what uh, what all of these forms give us and so that contribute contributes and, to that and this sort of revelation yes. sensational book contributes or at least gives us the promise of looking at motivations like revenge <laughs> right uh, being upset feeling slighted these are human emotions and, and is so, it important for historians as well i think it might be because yes. you know this is these are old forms we had namas we had lives of the caesars we had all sorts of things yeah, yeah. so you know uh, of course there's a rebirth and yeah. we we are waiting for i mean i think what will be very interesting is to read this book on merits despite exactly. our terrible suspicions exactly <laughs> political no, that, suspicions that's an, and i want to ask does that make sense to a lot of you yeah you're nodding over yeah and to a man's point i yeah. want to say that he's writing a biography so he can have his point of view of theirs life right. you know a life has uh, everyone has a different point of view and different co connectivity and a uh, relation with that family so he must be having his point of view about that you think yeah, that it's writing. fair yeah and it, it's interesting as you said to look at that point of view and i think a lot of that feel yeah. that way and ajay bos you having given us you having contributed to that genre as rukmini bhai and i said by writing about one of the most elusive women that there are that there is you know mayavati tell us give us an understanding of now we are seeing natpur singh battling with the congress party what did you have any battles with the bsp a slight correction before that this is not a biography of the gandhi this is an autobiography yes, of natpur singh so sure. ah so yes. and actually it ended up so not like, yeah, so he yeah. not ended up yeah. writing about himself but it's his account of right, rupani right, bhai right. yeah no as far as mayavati is concerned and my purpose and i think she said something which was interesting that a book unlike many other publications should have shelf life so uh, what i was interested in mayavati is uh, not little gossip uh, but actually to come to uh, some kind of insight and perspective okay. about what wa was a very unique leader uh, it was a very sensitive subject because uh, mayavati's relationship with kanchiram yeah 
uh, was a very key moment in her life, exactly. which catapulted her so, to so greater did, things. Did they threaten you? No, they didn't threaten me because I didn't. Like uh, the Congress Party no, is threatening no, 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 because they didn't burn my book, okay. but nor were they particularly happy about my book, which oh. is the ideal yes. uh, state which yes. an author wants to be. You yeah. don't want to be necessarily reviled because yeah. it was a largely sympathetic portrait of Mayavati. Yeah. At the same time, it was certainly not a publicity brochure. Yeah, so okay. what actually what I want to point out is it's interesting. You had the thing, it wasn't revived, it wasn't burned. There are some instances that I want to point out to our viewers as well of other books. For instance, journalist Vasanti's portrait of Jayalalita, which they got an injunction to by the Madras High Court. That never came in. That happened in 2011. And there's also IPS officer Nazrul Islam's book on the government over there, which the police filed. So I want to ask KTS Tulsi, lawyer over here, and you're critical of what Natpur Singh is also saying, that if someone like Congress right now, Sonia Gandhi, of course, hasn't threatened any kind of legal action till now. We haven't heard that. But we saw the same kind of assault on them and revelations in Sanjay Baru's book as well. So what options, what kind of legal fight, and what are the laws in India that... You see, in India... If you are going to take on anybody for defamation, what is going to happen is that you are actually inflicting an injury on your own foot. Mm -hmm. You are shooting yourself in the foot. By okay. Because for 10 years or 20 years, yeah. you are going to go on with and on with that battle without any result in sight. Yeah. So the Indian legal system takes so long to decide that the whole thing will become stale. And uh, you see, to me, but this there, is, people have succeeded, of course. No, but this book itself is such a damp squib, according to me. <laughs> but There's she doesn't hardly, think so. Hardly, I, no, I no, haven't no, read I agree. it. Hardly, no, I, no, I hardly agree. any revelation. No, I agree no, in the sense that I would have actually liked to know a bit more about the corruption part. And particularly about the circumstances in which he was ejected from the party. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the oil money which... But maybe that's there. We don't know. No, but uh, it did not come through the interviews with Karan Thapar. Okay. I suspect that uh, that thing is not... That's a vital part. If he could lead us to... Because the thing is that the money was made by Sonia Gandhi and the money was made by the Congress party and Natwar Singh was in charge of and getting no, the money for the Congress are party. These, are, these were the rumours, this was the speculation. No, in his own words, he says that he was dropped because of the allegations of oil for food yes. and his the where, scam. in Walker report, yeah. he was indicted yeah. and so was his son. That's that right. They so were the all, beneficiaries. Okay, so these are all revelations and we're talking about the... Like, like those revelations. Right. <laughs> that, that would be real. And particularly whether Sonia Gandhi was involved in that money scandal and how much money she made and a little bit of circumstances you know, like if that. If I were to compare it with uh, biographies uh, written in other countries. Yeah. For example, you... No, so, so hold that thought, Katie Estosi. We'll take a short break and talk about the biographies in general and how other countries treat them and how we treat them in just a bit. Be right back.